Welcome to Drop the Puck, and the Deeside Dragon season may be over, but it's not over for us just yet. Not an off week yet, Gary. Certainly not. Of course, we all hope you enjoyed your Easter break. I know we certainly did. Yeah, I got pretty excited, actually, Dave. He's been waiting to make that joke all night. It's terrible. Uh, but it's the first of a double header for us between the Solihull Barons and the Coventry Blaze. We're going to be bringing you those games over the next two weeks. Solihull, unbeaten, top of the league. What can we say? They've just been outstanding. A powerhouse of a team. Everybody should fear when they play them. They've got so much talent in the squad. You can't, you can't fault them for where they are. And Coventry, they've had a season where they've been struggling, uh, not quite the Coventry Blaze that we're used to seeing. No, certainly not. It's, things have really, really changed there. But we've got all the footage courtesy of our friends over at 24-7 TV. Let's take you live now over to the Solihull Ice Rink, where Paul Wheeler and Gareth Thompson are ready to drop the puck. Here come the Coventry Blaze, stepping out onto the ice to the strains of that Coventry anthem, Ghost Town. And now it should get a little bit noisy as we wait for the arrival of the Solihull Barons. The Barons step out with the ice led by their, their, their uh, mascots. You can see a, a, a very big full bench squad for the Barons tonight. Making the downfield to drop the puck and the opening one is for the Solihull Barons, off and running. Straight into the zone immediately. Jack Flem battling along the boards, Luke Smith, assistant captain for Tom Pease. Oh, and already we get the first whistle. By the way, face off once again in the Baron zone, won by the Blaze this time. Yeah, Jackson Josh, loses the puck. Josh Bruce chasing up the left wing. And he'll charge for the net. Josh Bruce fires one. And that'll go straight across the front. Hit again by Joe Henry. He'll work his way into the corner and fire, and that's padded away by Laverick. And the net goes off again. Thomas Janek. And this is the big line for the Solihull Barons. Face off one by Henry. Ryan Selwood throws one on net, padded away. And it'll be fired the length of the ice. That will not be touched up for a nice and cool. That surprised me, that one. Yannick again. Penalty Hayden Laverick apparently receives the penalty for a delay of game. Presumably, this was knocking the, the net off its movement. Puck goes across oh, again. Nice shot. Selwood. Oh! Beautifully finished. Ryan Selwood at the back post. And the first goal comes only a couple of minutes into the games, and Graham Laverick doesn't look impressed with himself there. I think that's when he won back, that one. Yeah, I, th I think so. The, most of the action was going down the, the centre and the left left of the ice, and, and no one picked up Ryan Selwood on the on the, on the back side. So just, just from the uh, the corner of the circle, he was able to shoot it in uh, underneath, the, uh, underneath Laverick uh, from the band's first goal with only a, 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 just over a minute gone. So Ryan Selwood puts that one home. Here goes Otterson. And now Richard Crowe poked away again. It'll be dumped in. Chased down by the hooking figure of Tom Saw. He's a big lad. The ex-Nottingham Lion. Nottingham Panther in the Elite League as well. Blaze try and respond. Okay, Richard Crowe wrapping it around the boards. Okay. Nicholas Watterson. Uh, You do watch Otterson play, and you can see he's played at a much, uh, much faster higher. level. Yes. Play for Vita Heston in the Swedish Elves fence. Again, shot wide from the blaze, though. Being Crow with the puck. Up to Otterson. In on the right wing. He's Have the back beaten. He's a very distinctive figure, is Nicholas Otterson with that flowing hair. It's brought, brought back the, 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 the art of the hockey mullet. So. <laughs> Connor Harbuck on the left, uh, Andy Whitehouse centering, and Rich Slater on the right wing. They got praised by Perry Doyle from their last game. He, won't, he was on Twitter and he uh, very clearly said that line played extremely well. It's now poked away. It's the Harrison brothers on defence. The Delder brothers are combining well. The puck works its way into the zone, fired again, and Laverick will be called into action. This time he makes the save, put behind the net, though, played out in front, and mm. Solihull can't get a stick on it. As we expected, Gareth, all the play at the Coventry end early on. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the Barnes, will, the, the Coventry will send it up the ice, but really, at the moment, they're not 
not pos posing any significant offensive threat to the Barons. Here is Dale Buckland. Spent many years in comedy, well known around the sky dog. Okay, okay. Poked away again. Now the puck again works its way behind the net. Hamilton digging away, but again oh! the Barons will win it fired and it's held by yeah. Laverick. Rich Slater, Slater saw that puck and, and he saw the gap, but he, he just couldn't couldn't get to it in time. You can see Slater just sees the rolling puck. Lavrik had no idea where that one was as it squirmed out in front of him. Yeah, he, he, he got his leg out there just 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 in time, but uh, whether that was accident or planning. We're waiting for the face off once again to the right as we look at it of Lavrik and the blaze net. Louis Brindle will take it for Coventry. But it's yeah. again. And Joe Henry goes over Louis Brindle's stick. Again, the Browns will fire. That one's padded away. And this time, maybe the Blaze can make a break with Maurice. He can't, though. Here goes Josh Bruce. Back to Dial. Hawking figure, Perry Dorley does get knocked down by Jack Flynn there. That could be a, an interesting one to watch later on. Perry Doyle, not the man, kind of man to let a challenge like that go. Here he is again. Jack Flynn is dumped on his rear end. Fans on pass. It's worked behind the net now. Barron's Bruce. almost like a cat playing with a mouse oh. here. Henry off the post. And you're, you're watching the Barons here and you're just wondering when the next goal will come, the way they're working at the moment. It's Doyle. He'll fire high. And again, Laverick will make the save. Yannick back to Doyle, a slap shot. The, the, the Barons are enjoying themselves already by the looks of it. We are four and a half minutes in and it's only 1-0, but all the play has been in front of the Coventry net. They might get a brief respite here. That's Jay McFadgen. Works his way up the ice. Hamilton now. He'll fire a wrist shot, it's blocked, it's free in front of the net. Sam Hewitt slides across, but there's no need. Robbie Ely coming up the centre of the ice. Hooked away. Robbie Ely, another former Coventry player. I remember watching him for the Coventry Blaze in the British National League many years ago. Okay. Fed around the boards again. It's not, it's not the fastest of pace. You get the feeling Solly Hull just taking their time, probing for weaknesses. Sorry. Works its way behind the net now. Robbie Lee, oh, shoved into the boards there. And again, the Barons force the Blaze back into their own zone. Here is David Rogers. Works his way out of the corner. Buck eventually gives the Blaze a little bit of respite. Now, here is Louis Brindle. And oh. Sam Hewitt has to make a save for the first time this evening. Yeah. I think it was a key off of the mask, possibly. Dave Rogers. Rogers. Rogers is a tricky little player over there in the far corner, shoved into the boards by Luke Smith. And again, down behind the net, Hamilton battling. It's a tight play against the boards, and it's not free, given Paps. That does appear to be the Blazers' strategy. They're just trying to keep the Barons pinned, not let them play, not let them work the puck around. There's that's your typical ball battle there. Puck eventually works free. Yeah. Great play from Jake Larkin. Selwood now. Back to Crow. Barons going for a line change. Crow carrying it in. But just loses it. It's the, it's the calmness that is wooing from the balance. They do look like they're just working their way, waiting for an opportunity. They look like they could step up two or three gears at the moment. Uh, uh, yeah, I think that's probably fair to say. I think, think they, they've, got, they've got the measure of the, 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 the blaze. They, they, they know they're short benched. They, they, you, you, you can see the blaze are having to work hard to keep the barns at bay. And they, they've got another 45 minutes of this to, to go through. So it, it could be tough. And, and oh, Nicholas Watterson with a, a good shot there. Again, the Barons threatening. Otterson works his way into the slot. Here is Thompson. So will drive. Ball. That's too high. So we'll collect this. 
And again, the bands look like they can pick their shots at will at the moment. So we'll feed it around for Otterson. There is Selwood heading for the front of the net. Otterson instead waits. Spins away from Brindle. I'm sure. Saved again by Laverick. Tom Saw. That's three or four shots on this shift from uh, Saw alone. I'd imagine that the shot statistics at the end of the first are going to be worth watching. Here goes Jack Flynn, who's looked physical early on. He'll fire a shot, but that one doesn't even uh, get past the first defenseman. Selwood again. 12 minutes 10 remaining in the first period. Solly will lead 1 0. eventually we get a pause in the action the, the, the blaze have perhaps got a, a, a little opportunity here they're, they're, they're facing off in the barns blue line uh, and we'll be trying to make the most of this opportunity uh, ideally to get a, a shot on the barns goal but again they've lost the face off poked away again the barons trying to work their way through the tight confines of Holzmoat road here is Harrison chasing Dan Barker. He is the son of the assistant coach, Steve Barker, who Gareth spoke to pre-game in his second full season. Hamilton now. Hubbock picked up the deflected puck. And Hubbock just waits, oh, just going around the net. But couldn't convert. <laughs> again and again the blaze just can't connect with their passes 747 remaining in the first period here goes Tom Saw great hands from Tom Saw he's still got the put works his way in lays it off now and the Barons again Otterson waits and fires oh, Otterson oh. again Otterson Laverick makes that save and it works its way up and off the boards and Jack Flynn has a chance to skate that lead thinks he was impeded oh, but there's a delayed back. penalty call Louis Brindle so the Blaze will get a power play chance as soon as Solly Hull touched the puck that's felt by the referee's got his arms up he fired again shot from Jack Flynn that'll go wide this is effectively like playing advantage in football here now the Barons touch up the puck and the referee blows the whistle so we, we, we didn't see it on the screen but I'm, I'm assuming the Blaze would have pulled their, pulled their netminder as soon as that delayed penalty was announced Works its way through, shot from McFadge and Blazar on the power play. Still waiting for confirmation on the penalty, we believe it will be. Probably an interference call, because Jack Flynn making his way up the ice. Kieran Paps gets two minutes for holding, in fact. So, Kieran Paps will spend two minutes or less in the penalty box, and the Blaze will play with an extra man. So expect to see a little more play in front of Sam Hewitt's net. There's Kovac and throws oh, one and then oh, it's thrown in. Looks like that one got tipped then in yeah. front of the net. See if we can keep an eye out for that one. It's uh, a great shot from the point, Kovac, and it just looked like it took a deflection in front of the net. I wasn't sure who it hit, whether it was a solid hole player. Yeah, certainly Sam, Sam got down onto his, his knees. You see Tom Pease here. Just puck boats for Kavaka. Through a lot of traffic. Jay McFadden, that, who got a tip on that, number 24. 6.09 remaining. That was a little unexpected. We uh, Back at 1 1, we expected the score. We've been praising Solly Hull and Coventry get one on the power play against the runner play there. Yeah, I, th I, th I think it can sometimes be be the case that if, if you are so dominating and they, then you're, you're, you're put under a little bit of pressure uh, you're just a little bit out of, your, out of sorts, out of rhythm you're not used to uh, uh, you've not had much practice in the planes but oh, the band's there with another shot Rob Ely fires one over the top here is Daniel Harrison back to Phil Knight and they're just working their way back Rob in Rob Ely chipping it in power play goal was scored by Jay McFadgen and uh, assisted by Antico Vacker and Tom Pease. So it's 1-1 in the A45 derby with 
Six minutes to go in the first period. Here is Matt Maurice. Fires a shot on net. Poked away again. Okay. Outs in. And again, the Barons working their way through. Tam it's and fired again. And the second chance for Larkin, but it's blocked. The Blaze desperately trying to get anything. In fact, Jack Flynn will chase this down, but Sam Ooh, Hewitt comes Sam Hewitt, play. well off his net here. And now Luke Smith, possible slash there as he swings his stick. And it's poked away again. And it'll work for Rogers. It's free again. The Barons again just trying to just blaze away at the net any chance they get there's a battle along the boards that'll be cleared and Stewart wants a nice and cool it's not given up no. that is it Hubbard tipping it in around the boards White House to play White House feeling behind the net again for Slater Hubbard looks for support in front of the net doesn't get any the Barons trying to cycle the puck Bolly Hull are Looking their way through again. Here is Hubbucky will fire, and that's eventually held by Laverick. Ryan Selwood for Solly Hull to take the lead. Since then, obviously, Coventry have equalised. And so this game delicately poised at 1 1 at the moment. Slater tries to play it past Kavaka, doesn't manage to. McFadden dumps the puck in. He played behind the net. That's something you'll see a lot throughout the evening. You'll see the puck being dumped into the corner. If you're, if you're watching football, it's more it's like kicking for touch in rugby. It's trying to get position. Yeah. So typically, players would dump it into one corner and, and then have a, another player fall it off or something around the boards and, and hope that another offensive player would get to it at or around the same time as the, the defender and, and thereby get the puck into the, the opposing uh, sector. So it works its way through again. White House. Just had to check on the boards, fed away by Smith. And Sam Hamilton will land a check. There's two brothers playing for both teams. In fact, the Harrison brothers for Solly Hull and the Hamilton brothers for Coventry. There's McFudgeon, the goal scorer. Robert oh, it on net, oh. tipped. And it's poked away again. Oh! oh. Beautifully finished by Connor Hubbock there. He just streaked into the slot, the area between the two face-off circles, and slid it under Laverick. Rich, rich, rich later found, found Hubbock uh, just in front of the netminder, and then it was just a case of, of slotting it under the keeper. Here's a replay. You can see Hubbock start to head for the net now, goes straight past McFadgin, and he's got all the space and time. Just being watched there by Dale Buckland. So it's 2-1 now in favour of the Solihull Barons. They retake the lead, thanks to Connor Hubbock. Assisted by Rich Slater. Jack Flynn once again getting involved physically. He's distinctive in his white helmet and he does like to uh, land the odd check, does Flynn. Poke free. Yannick. Oh! And that one is through. Oh. Thomas Yannick. Yeah, I think uh, Graham Laverick will definitely want that one back, Hayden Laverick. That's it. That's that's what you call a uh, howler. Oh, he, he, he'll, he'll be dreaming about that that tonight, and it, it won't be good dreams. That's the kind of thing you'd uh, have Alan Hansen saying. Um, it was unforgivable. Look, Yannick fires this fairly speculative shot, and it just squirms through. Has two or three swipes at it, and then shoves it into the net with his shoulder. Wouldn't be happy with the television coverage of this. That's oh. a video nasty. We'll have to fast forward <laughs> past that one. We'll be fast forwarding past that one, I think, when uh, they watch the tape of this. Here is Jack Flynn. And that one works its way into the corner. All right. Avoid to check. It is Jack Flynn attempting to land all the hits here. The uh, player in the white helmet, number 27. He's, he's, he's certainly been the most offensively minded of the, 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 the Blaze players tonight. So Joe Henry gets the assist on Thomas Yannick's goal. And now we're into the final 90 seconds or so of the first intermission. 
I think both teams can be fairly happy with this one. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think the Barnes might have expected a, a slightly uh, bigger lead at this stage, but given their, their possession, but uh, they'll, they'll still be fairly content. I think the, bl the, the Blaze will be fairly, fairly happy that they've kept it within uh, within striking distance to, to hopefully make the, the second period a, a competitive uh, 20. Poked away. Fed again, oh. and that's at the back post, and that's beautifully finished. Ed Eaton on the back post. And poor Hayden Laverick. He didn't even, he didn't even uh, get across to that one. He was just made to look a little silly by the Barons passing there. And you can work the way through, see. Hudson, Edgerton on the back post. That's the quality we were talking about with Nicholas Otterson there. He just yeah, he, 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 he did the tricky work. Uh, Edgerton, though, controlled a, a tricky puck and, and, and slotted it away. It is easy to mishandle those. I only play at uh, recreational level and I know bouncing pucks and I see them in my nightmares all the time. So that was well controlled by Edgerton. And now Solihull lead 4-1 and they look in the final minute to maybe try and get one more. Good hands though from Hamilton and there's a break the other way. There is Sam Hamilton and it's held by Sam Hewitt for a face-off. Particularly with Antti Kovaka, number 11, lurking there. He's got a big shot, it's fed away. So end of the first period then, Solihull lead 4-1. Start of the second period as we're off and running again. 4-1-4. Blaze will start in their own zone. Do you reckon we'll see a big difference in the way the two teams play during the 4 on 4? Obviously, a lot more space, a little bit more time on the puck. I'm, I'm, I'm sure the Barnes will try and make as, as much use of their space. You can see Joe Henry there with kind of a bit of backhander there to Yanak. Um, but, but Luke Smith checking it away. Now it's fed for Selwood. He can't get to it though. As Time to take down break potentially for the blaze. Shot fired and that will go up and over the top into the netting. So it'll be a face off restart in the, the Barnes on end. Both sides going for a line change. It's interesting here in uh, Solihull with the netting down the rinks. Here's a replay of the shot. You can just see Sam Hewitt there gets his uh, blocker up, but that's high into the netting behind the goal. And so face off will be taken again that we've won by the Barons. Possible break on here. And to send with the puck. And he'll fire wide. He'll work its way round the back of the net. Eventually Dale Buckland will work the puck around, miss pass. And the Blaze can't afford to be rocking around with that in their own zone. Certainly not with Tom Sawyer and, and Nick Otterson in the puck. Here is Otterson again. We cruise around the zone. Fine on net, and that one has snuck through. Yep, Tom saw. I didn't. I didn't even see that one snuck through. I don't think Hayden Maverick uh, expected that one. Tom saw just throws one on net, and it snuck low into the bottom corner. Yeah, you can you can see Tom saw's relaxed attitude there. I think he was he was he was doing it as a speculative throw on the throw on the net, uh, but but certainly it got through. Meanwhile, we're on four on four here. So Selwood carrying it up the ice. Drops it back. Josh Bruce. Back to Selwood. Henry. And Henry will fire. Again, there's extra space four on four, although if everything if nobody scores, then we'll see the Blaze player come out a little earlier. A little later, excuse me. So Solly Hill will get a very brief power play. Again, Bruce going up the wing. One, one up, waits for space. Now it's driven and Henry. that'll be saved by Laverick. You can see Bruce and Henry, the way they combine, is uh, almost telepathic at times. Yeah, they've been playing together so long, uh, both both here and, and previously at Telford. Uh, they, they, they know where each other are on the ice without necessarily having to look. Now they'll come forward again. Solly Hill are back to full strength, so... Is there a penalty? It's Joe Henry. and that one's driven through from Joe Henry. And that's the, that's the kind of uh, finish that he will skate back to the bench, feeling about a foot taller. 
Yeah, you, can, you, you can see Joy had a big smile on his face when he peeled away from that goal. Drags it through his legs, nice hands there, and then back and slid through the pads of Laverick. Some dirty dangles there, as they say in hockey, as the youngsters say. Tom Saw looks uh, very pleased with that one. It's all smiles on the Solihull bench. Yeah, the, 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 the bands have very much got this under control, and I think the players are, are relaxing into the game. So six to one, we're halfway through. And now, face off once again, won by the Barons. Back to Doyle. Maurice will feed that one through. Will be fed far into the bottom corner, and now once again, that'll be something of a chase for Perry Doyle. How about taking it up there himself? Going into the corner. Now you can see the Barons are starting to get a bit more expansive. They've got a 5 1 lead, they can afford to start pulling out the tricks. Andy Whitehouse now. Just looking for the opportunity. And again. It's the calmness with which the Barons made the puck shot from Hogerbuck and it's padded away. Only as far as Rich Slater, Andy Whitehouse. And again, the Barons working their way towards the net as soon as they can. It's fed through. Yeah, Richard Crow, defenseman, in a familiar position. I think Solly Hill, they're 6 1 up. Now perhaps Darren Bellaby on the bench has said to his defenceman, feel free to pinch in a little. You've got the freedom to perhaps go into areas of the ice where you don't tend to venture normally. Good shove into the balls then. This again eventually cleared. And Doyle will dump that one back in. Head through. So it's Dale Buckland now trying to make the most of it. That's a pass from Buckland. The players trying to find their space. They're not able to, though. They're used to Coventry Ice, which is a little bit bigger than Solly Holt. Gives them a little more space. You can see they're trying to play that expansive style. And now they might get a break on. Here goes. It was Hamilton who pokes it through. Good save, Sam Hewitt. Full length there from Charlie <laughs> Hamilton. He stayed committed even when he was flat out. Almost a Vetchkin esque. So Harrison oh. with a breakout. Taking it into the corner himself. Be fed. And again, the balance try and set up in the zone. Work the puck around. Tom Saw will pull his big body into the corner. Close that one off now. Oh, that would have been interesting from Tom Pease. And was that White House shot? Meanwhile, saved by Lavrick eventually. Or well, did that actually hit the net? Because I didn't see that one. I no, that, that was a goal. One. That was Otterson, I think, who had that one. And Saw just shakes so. his head. Yep, Saw. So. Oh, that's lovely, that one. I just had a second poke at it. Laverick made the initial save. And then Saw will work his way through. So it's the same line starting again. Time is ticking by. 7 1. Now in favour of Sully Hill. Again. It's a big frame of Tom Saw. He has, he has got excellent hands as uh, Thomas Saw for a man of his size. Otterson as well. It's kept in. Space for Louis Brindle. And Otterson, hair flowing out behind him, works his way through. Great hands for Whoa! Otterson. Oh, what a finish! <laughs> oh. 
That's a little. There's a little <laughs> bit of quality there. Yeah, so I, th I think think the last goal went a bit unnoticed. I think think that the, the, this one for certainly made up for it. That that, that, that was a beautiful late taken uh, solo effort from Oxen. I think if that goal was a woman, I'd marry it. Look at that, straight through the legs from Nicholas Otterson. And it's the casualness as well. Yeah, so it's a nonchalance once he'd scored it. He, 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 he knew it was a good goal and he, he did, didn't need to add any embellishments. That's when, that's when you know they know it's a good goal. Here is David Rogers as well. He'll oh, fire oh, and rip oh, that one. Oh, oh. Low into the bottom corner. <laughs> Look at the grin on his face after that one. Yeah. Lots of green gum shield there. He, 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 he. The, 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 the Blaze were trying to get their act together, but you can see see, see the pleasure that that's given uh, Dave Rogers. Former Coventry junior as well. Watch, he just takes the puck straight off the face off here. Aims top and right. fires that one top right. To uh, try and keep this game going, because obviously the Baron's very much in control, as you've said. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's tended not to be the Barons uh, line this year to, to, to ease up in a final period, even if the game was, was well won. And I'm, I'm sure that's very much the, the line that Darren will be taking, that the, the team of, of are doing the business and don't change the plan. Oh. It sounds like the oh, goals will drop. Here we go. Off. So it's Rob Ely and Dale Buckland. It's Thomas Shanek and Dale Buckland. That's an interesting one. You don't normally see on a fight there, but swatting at each other. Now they'll grab, Brooklyn throws a big right hand, they'll go again, Brooklyn Yannick. with another, Yannick isn't sure about this one. And I think Buckland got the better of that. Um, but to be fair to Yannick, he's... he's <laughs> a bit of a hands. handshake there. Brooklyn with a grin. Uh, you can see he enjoyed that. Uh, Buckland, Buckland's never shy of, of backing down from a confrontation. And, and, and you could see earlier in the game he was getting a bit frustrated about one or two things, so... Hopefully that's coming down. And here we oh, go, down by the benches. More. Joe Henry. Joe Henry going for Dale Buckland, and there's several now. Rob Ely as well. We said we weren't sure whether this <laughs> would get a bit tasty, and now we've got a bench clearing brawl. So, careful what you wish for. Josh Bruce. I didn't see what happened then. Josh Henry no. is... Uh, Joe Henry, excuse me, is raging. Joe Henry, I don't quite... The, the, the fight itself seemed fairly, fairly good-natured as far as these things go. But you can, you can see there's a, lo a lot of heated tempers out there. Joe Henry's uh, having to be held back. Yeah. Well, he's uh, making all sorts of threats. And I, 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 I realise we've got another uh, minute or two of the period, but I wouldn't be surprised if the referees call this call this period early. So we're settling in for the start of the third period. Louis Brindle versus Andy Whitehouse. Andy Whitehouse will win the opening face-off. And the Barons will once again settle into the third. And... The Barons won't be letting up here, Gareth. As you've said uh, before, they're not teams to just uh, play out the string, so to speak. Uh, it, 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 there, there's no point. They, they, they know their rhythm. They, 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 they're playing well uh, within themselves, and, and if they just keep things steady, they'll, 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 they'll close down this game quite comfortably. And we'll set them for the face of the game. Won't again by the Barons. So we'll throw one on net. This will be dropped by... Graham Laverick, who has replaced his brother Hayden in the days net, fired in by Matt Maurice and Sam Hewitt. Well, put his glove up, it nearly sneaks in though, but Hewitt gets across. Jack Flynn again, firing a shot at the back post. Joe Hayden, uh, Rich Slater. Rich Slater now moving up into the uh, into the forward line with. Oh! And that was beautifully finished by Whitehouse there. Slater working his way behind the net and. Whitehouse was all on his own in front of the net, had all the time in the world to finish there. Goal is nightmare. Look at the space he's got. Yes, Laverick, Laverick had already committed and was, 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 was down on his haunches, and there was plenty of space in the night for uh, Whitehouse to, to finish the shot. That's the, that's the kind of thing that forwards dream about, that. He had all the time in the world. Probably had time to make himself a sandwich before putting that in the back of the net. Because it's won again by the Barons, the face-off back at centre ice be forced into the corner the players try and work their way free um, so the Barons are into double figures now 10 to 1 that's right and that makes the total aggregate score 36 to 5 over 3 games which doesn't make good reading if you were goal it 
see the game's kind of settled down a bit now. We said the balance wouldn't let up, though. And uh, they definitely haven't. Is that Dan Barker who's down there? This is indeed. Looks like he's possibly taken possibly taking a stick. Stick to the face, possibly. Certainly he looks in some pain down there. There's a shot for Mottleton, that's too high. Obviously, NIHL won a level the Blaze previously played at as well. That one snuck, and that one was gloved, I think, by Lavic. Certainly, the lack of celebration. Up, 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 from up and over the netting, I think. And then, well, or did that one, or was that one counted? Nobody's sure where the puck went there. It's Phil Knight who fires the shot in from the point. Even the crowd didn't react to this one. He's got loads of space, clear shooting lane. No, that's up, up in, that's up into the netting off the arm, that one. Our director wasn't sure whether that was a goal, nor were we for a moment. Perry Doyle now. Phil Knight. Back to Doyle. Having, having seen the next level and seen NHL 1, the Barons can definitely step up a level. They do look like an NHL 1 team already. And here is Jack Flynn look, look, looking for a pass. Doesn't get one, it's eventually dumped in. Connor Hobbit recovering the puck. He'll feed it back round. You can see the way the Blazers are playing there. They don't want to go any in on the forecheck. They don't want to put any real pressure on the Barons, tried to play defensively. Kieran Paps, up through Andy Whitehouse, Rich Slater asking for the puck, but it's Connor Hobbit that gets it, and Hubbard another goal for the Barons. He'll enjoy that one, Connor Hubbard, he was uh, previously a Coventry Blaze player, one of the many of the Barons tended to be something of a third line player for the Blades at NIHL 1. Didn't get used perhaps as much as oh. he deserved. Is that a little bit of an argument on the bench as well? Meanwhile we get a replay of the goal. Hubbard just dumps that one low into the bottom corner. I think Laverick possibly even screamed by his own player there. Yeah, You can see Laverick a little bit unimpressed. That's 11-1 now. You can see the crowd of uh, accepted that this game was pretty much ended as a contest. The Blades haven't, they're still trying. So are Solly Hull. Hamilton goes down there. So this, this is the Barons top line, Thomas Shanek and Josh Bruce, but they've brought in uh, young Jack McKay from the, the Barons juniors, who's there on the wing. Uh, only played seven games for the Barons, but scored, scored on his, his senior debut. I'd imagine that uh, there'll be a lot in the Barons crowd hoping he gets uh, a lot of ice time in the remaining 12, 13 minutes or so. Oh, That's a big uh, hit uh, from uh, Josh Bruce, and here we go. All of a sudden. Simon Harrison and Charlie Hamilton. Throwing punches Charlie away. Hamilton taking a few to the face. And we're still going. There's a, more of a wrestling match. Simon Harrison still throwing a punch into the body there. He really wants to go. Not sure what started all of that. Yeah, look, look, looks like Hamilton took a, a heavy check into uh, another Barnes player, and, and, and Harrison uh, came up to the call. For a frank discussion of views, here is Josh Bruce. Poked away again. Yannick. Shot from Selwood. Fed to the back post, shot and fired and saved again by Laverick. 
into the final 10 minutes. And Jack Flynn takes a big check. He's also then rugby tackled to the ice by Selwood behind him. And just Bruce up. Sole effort. Oh, no, what a finish. Again, through the goalkeeper's legs. Lovely finish from Josh Bruce there. Makes his way in. Backhand drag. Beats the sliding defenceman and then puts it upstairs. Flynn shakes his head. I'm not sure whether he sees the point of it. Played away again. And now Buckland will play that once again hard around the boards. Collected by Rogers. Buckland again. Straight to Larkin. And Larkin will fire. Good save. This is this is the kind of uh, thing you see, like you said, with uh, tiredness. Larkin skating through and goal. Oh, and that one was off the net. We might have been unsure about a few, but there's no doubt about that one. Jake Larkin. And when a good, when a goal is going for up and unders like that, you know that the game is uh, all but over. Here goes Saw that. To add to it, centres it, oh, shot and scored by a saw in us in. And even the referee wants to get into the congratulations. <laughs> That's it, Ot Otterson's got to the point, he's so happy with that, he'll even hug the ref. He did enjoy that one, did Otterson. Saw on the break. Sent the sim pass. And oh, and it really bulged the net there, that was a lovely one. Otterson didn't, really, Otterson didn't really need to do anything, but just flip that in. Gives the ref a hug, though. And they're still trying to work out who steps out and who doesn't. You can see Matt Maurice there, face on him there. That's a man who's just resigned. Charlie Hamilton, Ed Eaton, having a bit of a chat. Tom Pease doesn't looks like he wants to be anywhere but here. And meanwhile, I'm not sure what the discussion's about, to be honest. Unless they're trying to work out who to give the points to. Face off went now. Here is Sort. Poked away. And now Perry Doyle will go back and collect the puck casually. And the field go on a rare foray forward. Time ticking down. Richard Crow, Ed Eaton. Come and go. You do you do get the feeling if uh, Perry Doyle puts one in late then the roof might come off this place. There's the goal announcement. It is Nicholas Otterson from Tom Sort for the 14th. And that will go the length of the ice as well as the time ticks down. Sam Hewitt going for another drop. Well, he didn't get quite as much elevation on this one. Yeah, Do Doyle's normal goal sto scoring opportunities come through power plays. He's typically the, the, the guy set in front of the, the netminder. Um, and while there's been plenty of penalties, they've often been uh, balanced out either side. So uh, there's been little genuine power play opportunities for either side. Face off cleared again into the final minute now. So again, it's had plenty of incident despite the uh, one-sided scoreline. Maurice. Again, plays come forward. Hamilton with the slapper. Big wind up from Charlie Hampton. He's still there. Selwood pushing into the boards. He's have already had it coming together. It's still tight. Yannick up. trying to pull the puck up. Hamilton wants a face off. I think he's trying to jam it against the board. It's cleared now, though. Time will tick down. And there's your buzzer. Solly Hull win 14 to 1 in the A45 derby. And whilst it was one sided score wise, there was still a fair bit of entertainment in that game. Yeah, I mean, the, the Barnes certainly had a, 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 the, the balance of play. They, they, they produced some 
some really quality goals um, and, and certainly there was a, a fair bit of controversy uh, certainly in the middle of the game um, so we, we, we've had a fairly entertaining tie I think So a long night for the Blaze tonight? Very long night just as well as we got a short trip back home but we knew what we were going to expect when we came here Solier of Hull are a tough team uh, they've got some great players and they put up a great fight. We tried our best to combat what they were throwing at us, but in the end it was just too much. My side lost a, a bit of discipline there, but you know what, the, the, the two points was the most important thing. Um, we got the two points, a four point weekend, and it's always nice to put one over Coventry. We knew they weren't going to deal with us for three periods. First period they came out brave, but after that it just all fell apart for them. Well, another landmark performance for the Solihull Barons you just they're just unstoppable I said it earlier didn't I as they are really unstoppable they're forced to be reckoned with champions quite rightly I think they'll be lifting a trophy at the end of the season always hard to play in their barn as well real real treat to see uh, the Solihull fans they're, they're obviously a really passionate bunch they love their hockey and uh, I know I've certainly enjoyed my away trips when I've gone to see them a great side I mean Perry Doyle's got that team performing right and quite rightly the fans are giving them the backing that they truly deserve don't forget to keep up to date with Drop the Puck on Twitter and on Facebook and we'll be back next week with another Solihull Coventry game can Coventry pull back a win We'll see you next week.